guys, Ralph here. Right, I'm going to do a, a quick um, tear down video of another donation. This one, Dell. I know you can't see it. <coughs> Too bloody big these things. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Well, this is a Dell with an Intel Core 2 processor. Windows XP. Now I loved XP as an operating system, but I'm gonna have to do this a little bit off um, off camera. But what I'm gonna do is figure out how to take the sides off this. Now, if you can see there, looks like there's a hinge which rounded on here. So that was a Dell. I wouldn't be here. Ah, dumbass. Right. You pull that in <coughs> a second. Okay. So, sorry, I was off off camera then, but. <coughs> <sighs> wow. See, some of these donations come to me. And I know the old IBM one, it wasn't a classic, it wasn't anything special, it wasn't particularly clean, but this, there are, see it's not in bad condition really is it, that's a graphics card, the some of these PCs are really well built, or over designed, shall I say. And the plastic cowling over a heat sink, so that boxes in any heat trying to escape, apart from through a couple of little holes where the, the copper comes through. But why have a big plastic case that will just heat up? I mean, it's, it, there's a nice big space in here for the heat to escape if you've got a good flow through one side to the other, but I really need a higher mount for a camera. Right, let's start this off with the power cable. Let's see if this bad boy actually works. Plug this into the monitor. No guarantees and Go. There was a bit of life then. Let's press the power button. Aha! Right, we have a Dell logo on the screen. Hard disk. Uh, tell them what it is. 160 gig. Windows XP loading up. Oh, come here. Come here now. Quick. Oh, I missed that. Do I miss that load? Windows 10 is alright. But my goodness, do I miss a Windows XP. <sighs> my first computer had, it was a 2x6 and it had Windows 3.1, I think it was. Oh, hello. Yeah, but it's gonna be not long since it's been used with an AVG 2013 on it. I'm not looking to um, dig into what's on these computers, as in files or privacy or whatever. It's nice to have one with a hard drive where it actually is working. But um, yeah, that doesn't mean I haven't got to do much with it. Two hard drives. We'll need to um, see again. Over-engineered. It's in plastic. It's a Barracuda from Seagate. Sorry, right. off camera again. Pulling the hard drive out. I don't know why there are two hard drives in this. Granted, 
mine has my own computer has a load more so but that's for my own business <coughs> yeah my business whatever but yeah this is a really this is really in good condition but on the size of the blooming thing and like you've got a load of space we took up something else there's a good breeze through there you know so maybe it wasn't needed up here just enough to suck air in from the front which has no vent what the huh the fan is down here heat sinks there and it's blowing air out there goody but at the front of here there is nothing there is, it's all plastic there's a vent there i can get my arm in that's probably why it can go in from the side can't it it just got sucked in from this side and that side yeah two more vents down at the side here which you can't see i'll come to this now everything seems to be working fine on that i like that i like a computer that doesn't need work but it's too bloody big so what the hell can i use it for two hard drives i'd love to make an arcade cabinet and a motherboard hard drive enough stuff in there to faff around but one i need a cabinet two i need to get a decent bit of software i mean i know they do Raspberry pies and stuff either land out and stuff which is great but i would love to just stick in corner wherever a full cabinet just play off all the games with some decent joysticks and just really go bombing with it the last bit of software i tried getting all the emulators on was um I forgot what you call it was it retro i don't know but you there's so much program for each one of consoles but i'd figured out i actually i've actually got a psp 1000 and i thought yeah this is brilliant for putting retro stuff on so put the mega drive stuff on put the snares stuff on then try with the atari st sorry amiga owners the old Atari 2600, and you start going for bigger stuff, ones that needed a keyboard or more buttons than the PSP had got, and you realise that you can't go more than what you've actually got. So, like, you can't use a Spectrum. Grew up with a Spectrum, but you can't put a Spectrum emulator on a handheld console. You need too many of the keys, so you need something with a full keyboard. But well, why would you do an emulator and put it inside a cabinet and um, play Spectrum games on it. It'd be amazing on a nice big screen, get the, a decent high res out of it. But you just can't play them without using the keyboard, so you wouldn't have a keyboard in front of it. So it's chicken and egg. You can't do either one first. It looks stupid with a keyboard, but it looks you want to play it on the things. But yes. Okay. Well, apart from the amount of cobwebs I'm finding, and bits of fluffy stuff that, okay, so that's purple. That is a purple fella. Hooray! Not one of mine. But yeah, this is this doesn't need much doing to it at all. Let me have a look on the specs and see what I can find for this one. And one second, just pausing. Ah, I had a quick look on the specs on this thing is. Looks like we've got an Intel Core 2 Duo, which runs at 2.13 gigahertz, which is no slouch, I suppose. And you could run it pretty well with a heatsink that size anyway. I, mean, I much prefer um, water cooling, lately, but um, it'll do the trick if it's given. It's pushing out cold, but I'm not running anything anyway. I think it's supposed to be 4 gig on here, but I'm not sure what without having a good look. There's four slots in there anyway. It might go up to four gigs or one gig each slot. Apparently the um, things wrong with this were you're too loud and you are too loud. Graphics card and the power supply. But other than that, it's over engineered. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the first look at this one, put it back together again and um, see what's what I can do with it, give it a bit more of a stripped down, clean down for another video. 
but the moment yeah that'll do that's what I'm doing on this one if you like and subscribe please tell your friends tell your parents tell anyone subscribe that will work I don't know if not I'll just stick to a niche market that'll be fine I don't, I don't mind a few people I'll comment below and um, I'll s thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video